bigger, younger and more diverse, Germany's newly elected parliament marks a change. Ria Schroeder of the Liberal FDP and Kasim Taasale of the Greens are two of its newcomers. She's from Hamburg. He was born in Iraq and grew up in Saxony. They are both younger than 30. Soon, they will decide legislation, shape policy and hold power. Members of the Bundestag don't have to be born here. It's important to me to determine the course of my own life. Two weeks after Germany's general election, new MP Kasim Taasala is showing us around his new workplace. The Reichstag building. Everything's off to a good start. Why don't we go up to the plenary hall? This is where laws are made. But the next step is not so obvious. This is just an exit. I don't know. I've never been in the elevator. Not sure about this. So let's try. And here we are. In the end, he succeeds in finding the way out of the tunnel system under the Reichstag. The feeling of being a representative in the Bundestag is surreal. I still haven't quite gotten my head around it. There hasn't been much time to think about everything that's happened. I've got to get a better sense of the structures. I have to find my way around, including the buildings. And that takes time. Ria Schroeder's morning doesn't start as planned either. She wants to buy furniture for her new Berlin apartment. A friend has come along to help. There's supposed to be a flea market here, but we don't see one. Now we're trying to figure out what the deal is. Such a nice day. Berlin isn't terra incognita for the 29-year-old from Hamburg. She's been on the FDP's national board since 2019 and has also chaired her party's youth organization for two years. Both positions often brought her to the German capital. Joining the Bundestag is an enormous change for her, but she'd like to maintain her previous habits as much as possible. And that includes getting furniture from a flea market and using public transport. Even at her next stop, Ria Schroeder fails to find what she's looking for, but she's still upbeat. Optimism is something like a basic attitude. That doesn't mean that you never get angry or that you never feel helpless or think everything is just going down the drain. But pulling yourself together and asking, what can I do? What can I do to change things and what can I contribute personally? Who can I speak to? How can I help put things in motion? That's what makes a difference, that you take action in spite of it all. Kassim Taasala says that taking action and fighting against grievances has always helped to guide him. The climate strike movement Fridays for Future has called a rally in the government district. My first demonstration in Berlin. One demand is banning the use of coal by 2030. Save the villages, they chant. Just four weeks after the parliamentary elections, the demonstrators are already putting pressure on the new government. This is amazing. It's something new for me. There's so much media here, so many cameras. A lot different than in Dresden. Kassem Taasala is pleased that in the future he will be able to shape policy in addition to demonstrating. He has no intention of giving up his role as an active environmental advocate just because he's got a parliamentary seat. 
I'm still an activist, but I'm now also a member of the Bundestag. I'm not going to put a boundary there or a wall between them. Despite the mandatory face masks, Tahar Salah still encounters two familiar faces from his electoral district in the crowd of 10,000. Because Germany's Bundestag is larger than ever before, they're having serious problems with space. That's why Ria Schroeder is going to have to spend the foreseeable future in an interim office with her assistants and many unpacked boxes. We're still trying to settle in and figure out where to get a cup of coffee. <laughs> it's just like any other office move, I think, when you have to deal with a lot of organizational issues. At a political level too, the situation is slowly resolving itself. The SPD are close to forming a government with the Greens and the pro-business FDP. Germany has never had a coalition composed of these three parties on the federal level. Greens and Liberals disagree on many points. Now, they'll be governing together. Both parties stand for change. And we've spent a really long time under grand coalitions with the CDU and SPD, when many young people felt their political perspectives, concerns and needs weren't being represented. So I think that does offer some advantage. Being in the opposition, you can make a credible stance for promising change. But there are also other issues we're addressing that are really important to young people. Education, digitization, that's the reality of young people's lives. Kasem Tahir Saleh is a civil engineer. He never needed to give much thought to how he dressed. But for the inaugural meeting of the parliament, he wants to wear a suit. So he's gone shopping. I don't want to become someone I'm not, and I won't. But of course it's a different life, another world that's extremely new to me. A few days later, the new Bundestag meets for its inaugural session. A few minutes before she steps into the plenary hall, Ria Schroeder captures the special moment to post on Instagram. It's kind of like the first day of school and college and Christmas all rolled into one. There's something ceremonial about it. And I think it's a solemn occasion, a really important day in our democracy. The change, too. And this time, it's more radical than ever before. Around a third of the more than 700 parliamentary representatives are younger than 40 years old. And 47 are not yet 30. Social media posts are all indispensable parts of the job for them. This is actually the first time I've been in the plenary hall of the German Bundestag. I just came in. That was quite exciting, and now the representatives from the different parliamentary parties have gathered. Then the inaugural session of the new German Bundestag will begin, and I'm allowed to be part of it. While outgoing Chancellor Angela Merkel looks on, Ria Schroeder and Kasim Tahasala experience their first Bundestag session, during which the parliamentary leadership is elected. We met up with Kasim Tahasala shortly after. Everything is new, the whole thing, the people, the atmosphere and the place. Just looking at the big emblem of the eagle, the symbol of the Federal Republic of Germany, that in itself is special. This was my very first parliamentary election ever. I've been a German citizen since 2018. It was my first candidacy, and I'm now sitting in the Bundestag for the first time. His career is anything but ordinary. A new face in national politics, Tahir Salah has drawn the attention of German media. On the DW programme Jaffa Talk, the young politician talked about his constituency in Dresden in Saxony, where he met with hostility as an immigrant, yet won the election. He says he's proud of that. 
but feels a special responsibility. A mandate allows you to adjust the image of society. It says, look folks, a parliamentary representative doesn't have to be born here. In that sense, I see myself as a voice for many. Ria Schroeder is hoping that a new government composed of the FDP, SPD and Greens can soon begin its work, despite their many differences. We've got different agendas, even at a fundamental level. Should the state play a greater role or rely more on the market? Should we rely more on individual initiative or collective concepts? These things determine the way in which policy is made and the solutions that are considered good. The two new MPs meet personally for the first time under the Reichstag dome. Hello. <laughs> now it's official. Yep, that's right. You doing okay? Yeah, and you? Yeah. Are you managing all right? It all feels very provisional. What interests you in terms of issues? Do you already know? Education is what I'd like to do most, and you? Construction. Construction and housing. The new representatives are aware that they have young and first-time voters to thank for their election to parliament. We already feel a strong sense of responsibility to achieve something, to make clear it's understood that this isn't some kind of prize or reward for all that's been done in the last four years, but a leap of faith that will do a good job and that young people will be better represented when it comes to politics. I take that as motivation to deliver. I'm really happy about the coalition. It won't be easy. I think there's going to be lots of sticking points there. But that's the sign of a well-run democracy and a well-run parliament. That's right. We don't want to merge. We want to coalesce. Things are off to a good start if these two new MPs are anything to go by. They already agree on one central objective, to bring fresh new energy to the Bundestag.